Hey, church family, I've got a question for you. And my question is, do you hate to wait? Do you hate to wait? True confession. I do. I get impatient when I'm facing a deadline and I get interrupted. Or when someone says they'll do something and then they don't follow through. And when it comes to waiting in traffic, I'm probably the only person who does this, but I'd rather drive five miles out of the way than taking the most direct route if that most direct route meant having to sit in bumper to bumper traffic along the way. Where do you struggle with patience? Maybe for you it's being put on hold during a phone call. Or maybe your child is stuck on the waiting list for that school they want to get into. Maybe it's a painfully slow line at your morning coffee shop. So why is waiting so hard? Waiting is a real reminder that the world does not revolve around me. But God tells us that waiting is so important. In fact, the Bible shows us that waiting is necessary and needed in our lives. And the prophet Isaiah gives us a great promise for those who wait. He writes, Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. God uses waiting to get our attention. Waiting reminds us that God's in control when we're not. Waiting reveals God's plans, not ours. And waiting allows God to speak into our lives in ways we could never hear Him before. Waiting shifts our perspective to see and experience more of God's love and grace in our lives. Do you hate to wait? Well, step back and give God your frustrations. Be honest. I pray that from the small annoyances to the heavy burdens, you'd ask God to help you to trade the hate and the wait for hope in the promises of God. Amen.